Deeper Bill. A pristine paradise for birds has been the source of joy and excitement for many nature lovers. The beautiful view of the lake provides a unique feeling of closeness to nature. The chirping of the birds, the calm water is something which nobody would want to miss. As soon as you reach the place, you will get a wonderful view of the lake. And that much is enough to make you relaxed. A few more steps towards the lake and you will get to see the beautiful birds of various colors and sizes busy in their own world. Barn swallows will keep on flying continuously in front and around you. Little cormorants will be seen busy catching fish. Black kites will keep on flying over your head. What more can you ask from nature? The name Deepavil is stated to have come from the Sanskrit word Deepa, which means elephant, and Bil means wetland. The Bil is located about 10 kilometers southwest of Guwahati city. It is one of the large and important riverine wetlands in the Brahmaputra Valley of Lower Assam. Assam witnesses a large number of aquatic birds in Deepavil during winter. Because of the rich fauna it has, the bill has been designated as a Ramsar site in November 2002 by the Ramsar Convention. The 4.1 square kilometer water body of Deeper Bill is found to be the habitat of over 120 species of birds, according to the Department of Forest, Assam. Barn swallows, kingfishers, fishing eagles, adjutant storks, purple heron, black kites, sandpipers, and various duck species are the major attractions of the bill. Moreover, it is one of the largest bills in Assam and acts as the major stormwater reservoir of the city and thereby can be greatly helpful in managing the city's drainage system during the monsoons. The bill maintains the groundwater level and acts as a source of daily fresh water needs to many. Time flies, and with time everything changes. Deeperville has also undergone changes. Unfortunately, the changes are not positive. With the growing greed and irresponsibility of people, the condition of the bill is deteriorating day by day. The rapid growth of urban population along with the increase of industrialization is affecting the ecosystem of the bill. The main water resource of the bill originally was Bashishta River and Bahin River. These two rivers nowadays carry the urban sewage and industrial waste materials and hence started polluting the ecosystem of the bill. At the same time, the waste products thrown at the bill by the visitors have also been gradually starting to pollute the area to a great extent. The garbage dumping site at Boragao, which share the boundary of deeper bill, has become a threat to the bill. The waste products drift to deeper bill and pollute the water. Moreover, many diseases occur every now and then among the birds because of industrial waste products. In such a situation, 27 greater adjutant storks died recently. That is a serious concern for the nature lovers as the greater adjutant storks are considered endangered species of the world which are mainly found in Assam and Cambodia. The industrial sewage comes to the bill without any treatment. The chemical waste poses a great threat to the birds. Moreover, the railway track that goes through the bill also creates problem. The sound of the trains disturbs the peaceful environment of the bill and creates anxiety among the birds. Picnic parties are also need to be blamed for creating disturbance and polluting the water body of the bill. Leftover are thrown to the bill and one can also see beer bottles, disposable dishes drifting in the water. The loud music played by the picnic parties creates disturbance in the environment. As the picnic season starts, the joy of watching the beautiful birds seems to fade away as the birds, because of the noise of people and the loud music, fly away to distant areas. 
Fishing in Deeperville has been a source of income for some local people. The bill provides a variety of species of fish which are attraction for both the birds and human beings. It acts as a breeding ground for the local fish varieties that spreads to other freshwater systems during monsoon, thereby playing a vital role in maintaining the fish diversity. However, fishing should be restricted to certain areas so that no conflict between birds and humans occur. Deeperville has been a paradise for birds, but as the ecosystem of the bill is degrading so rapidly, it will not take much time to be a barren land. To regain the lost glory of this bird paradise, some measures can be taken, such as human activities in and around should be monitored and regulated in a sustainable way to keep the ecological balance. Local conservation committees should be formed to ensure the involvement of local communities in various community-based conservation initiatives of the bill. Industrial activities should be banned in the bill periphery. Sufficient distance should be maintained in between garbage dumping sites and the bill area so that the water body doesn't get polluted or contaminated with toxic elements. Waste management plans should be undertaken so that bio and non-biodegradable waste can be managed properly so that some scavenging animals and birds including the highly endangered greater adjutant storks can be given a proper refuse. Sustainable ecotourism projects could be undertaken which will provide alternative income generation opportunities for the locals and additionally will generate a sizable amount of government revenue, a part of which can be spent for the conservation and management of the bill. It is high time we did something for the conservation of this beautiful bill. Otherwise, in near future, it will be lost forever.